Hello, my friends. Ellen here. Welcome back to my Southern Kitchen. Hope all you are doing well. Where are all my butter lovers out there? Today, I'm going to share with all of y'all another great biscuit recipe. Swimming in butter biscuits, a.k.a. butter swim biscuits. Five ingredients Southern buttermilk biscuits in a pool of melted butter. Mm -mm. How yummy does that sound? And my friends, it is so simple and easy to make the bomb.com delicious. And they're going to be fresh out of the oven, mouth-watering, and baked to golden perfection. Everybody's going to fall in love with this. And I'll post the complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my biscuit recipes playlist and my previous video, Homemade Blueberry Jam. I'll post link to both of those down below in the description box. So grab your flour, your melted butter, and turn on your oven sugar because we're about to bake some butter swim biscuit magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go. All right, my friends, the first step we're going to do is melt our butter in my 8 by 8 inch square baking dish. I have seven tablespoons of unsalted butter and we're going to put it in the oven and we're going to let it melt all the way at 450 degrees. And while our butter's melting, we're going to get started on our biscuits. We need two and a half cups of self-rising flour. So I'm going to fluff it up. Just like that. And then I'm going to level it off like so voila perfect cup that's one fluff it up level it off and two now we need a half And the perfect half a cup. Alrighty, and to our self rising flour, we're going to add in two tablespoons of white sugar to give our biscuits a little sweetness and stir these in until they're well incorporated. And now we're going to add in four tablespoons of cold butter flavor shortening, or you can use lard. And it's very important that your fats are real cold so that way we'll get fluffy tender biscuits. And using my pastry cutter, or you can use a fork, we're just gonna cut the shortening in until it reaches coarse crumbs. Alrighty, as soon as I get through cutting my shortening in, I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I'm through cutting up my shortening, and this is what it looks like. Nice coarse crumbs. That looks great. Now it's time to add in our last ingredient, some good old buttermilk. I have one and a half cups of cold buttermilk and you don't want to pour in too much. So I'm going to start with this and stir this in. You want to get a little sticky consistency. Otherwise, if you add a lot, it'll be too soupy. Right, I'm going to add a little bit more. Go to about one and a half cups to one and three fourths of a cup. All right, there we go. And this is the consistency that we're looking for. It ain't too sticky. This is exactly what we want. Perfect. All righty, the butter is nice and melted. I'm gonna get that out of the oven. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish stirring up my biscuit dough and I'll bring you back. All righty, my friends. I'm through stirring up my biscuit dough. Now it's time for the fun part. Time to put them in the pool. Let them swim in that butter. And you don't want to spread the top. You want them nice and rustic. All 
Honey, these are going to be one amazing buttery biscuits. Alrighty, so now I'm going to pre-cut my biscuits. Get nine squares. So when it bakes, all that butter will be in the crimses of the biscuits. Look at all that dough. It's just swimming in there. Butter, oh, it's going to be awesome. Butter makes everything better, if I do say so myself. Alrighty, now we're ready to put these babies in the oven. We're going to put them in the same temperature that we melt the butter in, 450 degrees. It's nice and preheated. And we're going to let it bake for about 18 to 20 minutes until they're golden brown on top. And I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I have taken my biscuits out of the oven. They're nice and golden brown. Mmm, and it smells heavenly. Nothing like the smell of freshly baked biscuits. So now there's one more thing we gotta add to them. Gonna brush it with some melted butter. Oh yes, sugar. Yeah. All right, my friends, there you have it. Swimming and butter biscuits, a.k.a. butter swim biscuits. Don't that look good and buttery? So now I'm going to let the biscuits sit for a few minutes until all that butter absorbs, and then I'll fix me up a plate, and I'll give it a taste. All right, my friends, I fixed me up a plate, and I want to show you all how soft and tender this biscuit is. Soft and squishy like a pillow. It is so moist it just breaks apart. Alright, so I'm going to open up. Going to add a little more butter, of course. Love lots and lots of butter on my biscuit. Now I'm going to add on some strawberry jam. And this is my homemade strawberry jam. I'll post link to that recipe down below in the description box. And also, the recipe to my homemade buttermilk. I'll post that as well. And also, you can serve this with sausage gravy, maple syrup, or honey. And get you a nice breakfast, some grits and eggs, and bacon. You'll be in breakfast heaven. Gonna close it up a little bit. Alrighty, now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Mm-mm, look at that. Have a bite. It just melts in your mouth. Full of butter goodness. These biscuits are amazing, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. This deserves another bite. Mm-mm. Yum o. -oh. Butter Swim Biscuit Licious. My friends, I want to thank all y'all for watching and joining me in my Southern Kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights on Facebook or Instagram. And to purchase a cookbook along with your picture, please send me an email. Ellen's Homemade Delights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat and much love.